It's perfectly fine. I told you there was nothing to worry about, Thomas. See? I'm sure I saw water. Never mind, Thomas. Come back to the clay pits. Have I ever shown you my rock collection? Bouncing boulders! Look out! Oh, dear. It was a water pipe I found. What a mess! Thomas, I'm sorry. What shall we do? You need to clear the tracks while I warn the other engines. Righto! Pistons pumping and shovel digging. Marion worked harder than ever. I hope Marion gets the track cleared before any... Oh, no! Express coming through! A young blue engine dug a silly old steam shovel out of a deep hole? No, I don't think you have. Oh, wait a second. I get it. You mean me. Thank you for your help today. Next time I dig up a water pipe, I'll tell someone. And so Thomas steamed back to his station. And Marion puffed back to the clay pits. She was feeling very tired after her adventure. Hello, Marion. Fancy a game of guess what's in my shovel? Oh, I don't know. Come on, I'll go first. Is it a bucket of fish? Nope, guess again. Is it a big wobbly jelly? No, last try. Is it mud? Nope. It's a chest of pirate treasure. It, it is? is? No, <laughs> not really. It's mud. <laughs> but Percy wasn't a giving up kind of engine. He was still determined to make Reggie's scrapyard come alive with Christmas cheer. to give Reg a Christmas present. Something he really loves. But what? Percy chugged all around the island of Seoul, trying to find the perfect <laughs> gift for his friend at the scrapyard. <laughs> but no matter how hard he tried, He just couldn't think of anything. The next evening, Percy rolled into the scrapyard, a little quieter than usual. Evening, Percy. Deary me, what's the matter? A bit down in the dumps, are you? Oh, Reg, Tidmouth Sheds is all decorated and the whole island looks lovely and special. But you're stuck here, in the Sodor scrapyard. And I couldn't even think of a present to give to you. But, Percy, you've brought me exactly what I wanted. More lovely scrap? Yes, more lovely scrap. And most particularly, this is just what I need. <sighs> Reg. Your Christmas tree looks fantastic! Ah, oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, Reg, that is amazing. I told you, nothing round here goes to waste. Now, before you go, 
You said something about gifts? Oh, yes, that. I'm so sorry, but I didn't get you... No, no! I have a gift for you! Thanks, Reg! Well, after seeing my Christmas decorations, I thought you might feel rather left out. Merry Christmas, Percy! Thanks, Reg! Merry Christmas to you too! Christmas, Percy. Merry Christmas, Thomas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, come back! Come back! <laughs> the entrance to the old mine had only recently been reboarded up. <laughs> but even that couldn't stop them. Percy slowed down when he saw the dark tunnel ahead. Hello? Anybody there? Percy knew that he should go in and bring back the trucks, but he didn't like the look of the mine. <gasps> Percy was scared. He didn't know what to do. He just had to stop and think for a moment. But of course, what he thought of was... <gasps> Gator! Being brave is not the same as not feeling scared. Being brave is about what you do, even when you do feel scared. Percy remembered what Gator had said to him, and he knew he could do it. He could be brave. He could go into the dark tunnel. Hello? Hello, trucks? Where are you? Deeper and deeper into the tunnel he went. Wheel turn by wheel turn. Until, at last, Percy saw some shadowy shapes ahead of him. The trucks were very happy to see Percy. They were frightened too. Come on, you troublesome trucks. Let's get you out of here. Percy had done it. He had rescued the trucks. Percy knew he shouldn't have rushed off with the troublesome trucks, but then he smiled. He realized that it was Gator's wise words that helped him to be brave and rescue the trucks all by himself. Ahoy there, Percy! Not still thinking about Gator, are ye? You know he only makes you sad. No, Salty. Thinking about Gator makes me happy too. I learned a lot from that engine. I'm lucky to have Gator as a friend even if he is far away right now. Aye, Percy, and who knows, but he might come back to Sodor one day. <laughs> I hope so, Salty. I really do. This is your fault, Ben. You were supposed to bring the coal. You shouldn't have been messing about all day. Me messing about? I'm not the one who's been messing about. Bill and Ben didn't even have enough steam to be able to get away from each other. Oh, great! Typical! Now I'm stuck here with you. Now I'm stuck here with you. Come on, you two. Chop, chop. Marion needs you to collect some clay. We can't, Timothy. We've run out of coal. What? But... There's no steam without coal. What am I supposed to do now? Don't look at me. 
Oh, go on, Timothy. Go and fetch some coal for us, please. Well, I guess I could. After all, I've still got plenty of oil in my fuel tank. So it was Timothy who delivered the clay to Brendam Docks. And found cars loaded with coal ready and waiting for him. About time. Me first? No, me. Since neither of you are going anywhere yet, you won't mind if I go first. Oh, what? Not fair. Bill, Ben, is there anything you want to say to Timothy? Thanks, Timothy. And? Sorry. Sorry we were silly. And? And sorry we made fun of you. Yes, and while we're two of a kind, being like you, the only oil-burning engine on the whole of Sodor, is kind of special and really useful. When, when we've run, run out, out of coal. coal. <laughs> 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 <laughs>